Sometimes the angel likes to cry in despair and unholiness. But what if the angel is after your soul? The black angel. Listening to the mutters, the bones cracking, blood splattering, and tearing of muscles got you worried and first. You then realizing you're calm by the screams, a small smile creepy on your lips. Your eyes fill as though you're about to cry. And you do. But when you wipe it, you smell blood. The aroma swelling in your nose, the tears slipping in your mouth. Blood that just taste makes you crazed. <laughs> you round the corner, son. The body's twitching. Bleeding, slippering in the bleeding slumber in the hands of death. The sight is beautiful that you can't help but stare. You look and the creature causes all the mayhem. It rushes and all you can do is stand there welcome, the welcome that the killing creatures, your body is mutilated. All you can do is lay there and laugh, laugh the horrors like a blood fits in your mouth's mouth is just spilling out. You feel like nothing to think of. Nothing? Just lie there as the creature tears your body open, ripping everything out. Yet, your palm and peace that you cannot describe. You look at the creature, his movements quickly increase. You lay your head back, and as he grabs your heart, ripping it out, you can look to find it still. city. The woman was nine months, and her husband looked sick and tired constantly. During their move, her husband caught a strange sickness from the jungle, making him hallucinate. They never knew it was well, from it or if it stuck. During the few days, the wife decided to get a check up on the unborn child. She was already in labor and was not feeling stay in the hospital, her husband is sitting next to her, quietly staring off into space. He could look suddenly, looking at her with a strange hunger, not in a craving food, but a bloodthirsty hunger, and examined all the objects in the room and grabbed a silver butter knife from her lunch she had hours ago. Honey, are you okay? Her voice was full of concern, and she could do nothing to hide it. She tried standing only to push back by her husband. She grabbed her belly, feeling sharp pains. Her husband following, followed her hands and removed them. It's time to die, you beast. His voice was hoarse and serious. Honey, it's me. You're, it's your wife. You're Hallucinating again? No. He raised the butter knife and slammed it hard in her stomach. Screaming in pain and thrashed around, her husband continued to stab her, slicing her open and sticking a head inside of her, pulling out the baby open and looking at it. The wife was close to faint but forced herself to stay awake only to watch her husband start eating the child. The soft pitter-patter of the feet awoke the woman. She was staring down at a strange woman who was pregnant and giving birth with a nurse dabbing her head and the doctor holding the baby's head. The woman was screaming and all she could do was smile, then frown instantly and jealously. All the woman and her living, breathing baby. She stormed out to see another woman pregnant and scared 
she walked over slowly, and the woman just counted over in her bed, pressing a button, panicked. The wives rushed at the woman, cutting the woman open with her bare hands and scoping the baby out, and eating it whole in front of the woman. She looked in horror, pale, and about a faint. Before she passed, she ripped out the woman's heart and showed it to hold her clothes until she fainted and the heart stopped beating. During the years of the same hospital, there has been strange murders of pregnant people and stolen newborns. Children's people have said it looked like a skinned human, like a gorilla, who holds their victims like a baby until their heart stops beating in their hands. If you ever see or heard of the creature nearby, please inform the police for animal control. That is all.